Hello, everybody. Uh, привет, привет. I'm Michael Sanders. This is Vika. Vika Here on my Ghosty Show. <laughs> uh, it's Instagram and YouTube together. Okay. That's a great, that's yeah. a perfect pairing. Perfect. Uh, where are you from, Vika? From Russia, Siberia. Now, that's a very long way away. Can we just say that it's a glorious day here in Brooklyn? Yeah, it's perfect. It's actually hotter here than in Manhattan. Is it possible? We've got more heat. Yeah. Brooklyn is the center of the universe yeah, in terms okay, of trendiness. Okay. In terms I saw of... the Siberia Centrum. <laughs> <laughs> How far is Siberia from the rest of Russia? Um, well, we are the part near Mongolia and China. Jesus. Yeah. Is that the why Asian. you look the way you do, kind of? How do I look like? You look like you <laughs> might Asian. be designed for strong winds. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes, you know, they're quite hooded. Yeah. Um, what was it like? Was it freezing? Uh, it's like minus 40 in winter in Celsius. That's crazy. It's, yeah, it's, but it's very dry air, so it doesn't feel that bad. How do you get from Siberia to Manhattan? By walking. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't swim? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the beginning. What town were you born in? And who okay. were your parents? Uh, what time? I don't remember. It was 18th of June, 1991. My parents' uh, mom, she's a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. And my pop, he's uh, like repairing the apartments, buildings. So I don't know how it's called. He's a contractor? Yeah. A builder? Uh -huh. Uh-huh. How did they meet? Do you know? No. Did you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have a sister. Uh, you're a cancer? Mm -hmm. Born in June, cancer? Uh, yeah. No, it's not a cancer, it's, it's a Gemini. You're Gemini? Yep, Gemini. Wicked. <laughs> I haven't had many of those. No, no. the worst, no? Are they the worst? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I get two faces. You don't trust yourself? I do, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Should anybody else trust you? <laughs> yeah, for, for sure. <laughs> you look very trustworthy to me. Yeah, good. <laughs> How were you as a child? What was it like growing up in Siberia? Oh, it was good. It was cold. I did the rhythmic gymnastics school, like all the... From what age? From seven. Is that standard? Yeah. Rhythmic gymnastics is the most beautiful form of any sport. I agree. Did you know that before you started it? Uh, no. It wasn't something you saw on the, on the television? Uh, we didn't really have television. You didn't yet. have television? No, we had, but it was like just some um, stupid concert, you know. And the, okay. So. so you didn't grow up watching cartoons and shit no, on Saturday no, mornings? No, no, So rhythmic gymnastics was something to do. Why rhythmic gymnastics over normal gymnastics? Uh, it's less dangerous. Mm -hmm. more Unless beautiful. one of those... Things fall on your head. Yeah, but it doesn't really hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. No. Those, what are those called again? Uh, clubs. The clubs. They do not hurt when they mm, hit you on the head from I a mean, huge height. <laughs> no, it's okay. You've never been injured? Uh, yeah, I've been. Maybe that's why I'm like that now. <laughs> what happened? It cured you? Uh, it just like, it just fell on It the, fell on your head? Yeah, it, it's, it's okay. Okay, so how <laughs> seriously <laughs> were you into rhythmic gymnastics? Was it something that was just a hobby? No, no, no. It was like a professional sport for me. Shit. I went on all the competitions in Russia. Wow. So, yeah. so at seven, you were already being groomed for a professional career. Yeah. Yep. Who decided that? Because at seven, you can't do that. My mom. You? Your mother did? Yeah, because she was working just near the, the place of the training. And mm -hmm. uh, she just fell in love and the girls. Oh, uh, yeah, because they were so skinny, beautiful. Yeah, they were so beautiful. Yeah, and so... Rhythmic gymnasts have to be skinny. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so is Russia the leading? Yes, still. Who's the next best? Uh, Ukraine and Belarus. So is it part of the culture? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. The How... ba ballet, so it came from there. Ballet. So. Mm -hmm. How many girls in a class? Ooh, 20. How many times a week did you practice? Uh, every day by three hours a day. Every day, three hours a day from yeah, the age of seven. A, yeah, when we had a holidays at school, so we had two times in a day. So it's all together like six, eight hours a day. From seven to what age? Uh, Fourteen. So that's seven years of that amount of practice. Mm -hmm. That's way beyond the 10,000 hours that they suggest you yeah. need to master everything. Mm -hmm. Did you master rhythmic gymnastics? You must have done, right? Because you yeah, were competing. Yeah, of course. Did you win anything? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I have a... Yeah. You did? Yeah. What did you win? Oh, I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how extensive was your career and winning? 
Um, I win actually when I went out of my city. I don't know why. And we went some in some places in Russia, like the, um, the by the region. So it was one of the first in the region. So mm -hmm. yeah, it went kind of well. But I finished because my back started to hurt a lot. Okay, you overdid it. Yeah. A lifetime of rhythmic gymnastics is not necessarily good for long term health. <laughs> No, it's not good. Uh, did you feel at any point that you were missing out on a childhood or an adolescence? No, no, I really... You loved it? No, I loved it. I'm still in love. I'm still watching still like, every competition, every... like. Uh, it's in your blood now? Yeah, it is. You're, so you would consider yourself, first and foremost, a sportswoman? Yeah. Do you have amazing discipline? I do, yeah. Are you incredibly competitive? Yep. Do you like to lose? No. <laughs> How does this help you in being a model? Um, always to be the first, always to be the champion, like to, to train on yourself, to change something, to get something bigger, to mm -hmm. be higher. How long? So how did this happen? Okay, you were, you were a rhythmic gymnast. Mm -hmm. So by society's standards, you were already different and considered a model of beauty. Mm -hmm. Right? There were certain ways that you were seen. Yeah. Do scouts in Russia look to those schools to scout mm, no, girls? No, 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 they don't. Why not? Um, no idea why. They should. They should? What are they, they doing should, all this year? I don't know, but nobody goes to this kind of uh, school for That's training. That's so bizarre, right? Yeah. Do they think that these girls are so hardcore? Yeah, but you know, but I know also like if I'm kind of 12 years old and a scout come to my training and ask me to be a model, I would say no. Yes, and your teachers would say no. Yeah. And your parents would say no. Yeah, like sport was the first thing. Then it's going to be like school, but no, modeling, we would say no for that moment. Would you still be a rhythmic gymnast if you hadn't been injured? Yep. What about college education? Um, we have some like special uh, sports college. Would you have university. gone? No, I didn't. I finished the, the high school. Would you have wanted to go? Um, well, not really. You were just no. happy to compete. I'm just, yeah, like happy to compete. Yeah. Okay. So when did the scout come knocking? How did it happen? Um, well, actually I was with my sister in a bus. We were like going home and the scout from one model school <laughs> they, they came oh, to us yes. and he was like to my sister he asked her like if she's a model because she's like so beautiful let's talk about your sister uh-huh is she older or younger uh older three years three days what is the dynamic between you in your relationship uh pff, we are like the best friends we're sharing everything with each other like you got on, on the phone yeah you liked each other mm -hmm. what star sign was she mm? when was she born uh, 15 of June, so also Gemini. Two Geminis? Yes. <laughs> Two twins. Are you yeah. similar? Uh, yeah. Do you look alike? Yes. A lot. So why did they look at her and approach her over you because she was uh, just older? Because was age, she was like taller. dark hair, kind of a sexy look already because I was like 15 at that time. So she was three years older and uh, yeah, they just were like, oh my God, you should come to our school and bring your friend with you. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm a sister actually. Oh, cool. Yeah. So then they, they scout us. We passed this uh, kind of a lessons, model lessons. Uh -huh. And uh, then a scout from Moscow, from women, they came. They choose both of us, but then uh, she had an operation, then she had a study kit, so it They happened. came, the scout from women came to your village? Yep. Town? Town, it's not a village, it's, not it's a village. It's okay. <laughs> What do they do now? What do they do there? What's it famous for? What kind of town is it? Is it industrial? Uh, is it... We are near the lake, the deepest lake in the world, with a still water named Baikal. Oh, so yes. It's just there. Freaking yeah. freezing cold water. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and sturgeon fish for caviar. Yes. <laughs> so the best caviar in the world probably yeah, comes yeah, from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, Did you eat it? Of course. All the time? Not it's all like, the time. But it's yeah, a local, but, yeah. it would be a local dish. Yeah. Um, so your sister was already 18 when, you scout, when this happened. Mm -hmm. Do you think there were many scouts in your town, city? Do you think that was fate? Do you think you would have become a model anyway? Oh. If this, if this. Well, I believe that life, it's, it's this kind of thing that uh, it happened because it, it had to happen. 
So you believe it was your yeah. destiny. Yeah. You were destined to be sitting here with me yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe <laughs> everything, in that. Everything all follows, right? <laughs> you believe in that? And yeah. do you believe in that for your sister too? Uh, yeah. So did she become a model like you and remain a model like you? Is she still in the business? Uh, no, no, no. She never really... She didn't do it. ...tried to travel, nothing. She just get a study and uh, she had a... So it happened. It, it was a winter, so very cold. Mm -hmm. And she just fell and a bottle of, uh, of a glass. So the glass went in her knee. So she had to do many operation after. So she just missed the time. And Shit. Then, yeah. So it wasn't her destiny? Mm -mm. Well, maybe it, it is. The, the, yeah, yeah. It That's wasn't her destiny mean. to become yeah, the model yeah. because she got injured. Yeah. If she hadn't got injured, she yeah, might, things might have been different. Be different. Yeah. How did she feel about you becoming a model and she didn't? Oh, she's, she was very proud of it. And uh, What does she do now? Uh, she has her salon for the nails. She has a nail um, salon? She, yeah, she has. Back home? Yep. She didn't leave? No. <laughs> you left? Yeah. I invite you, her sometimes. <laughs> you had to leave because of the job? Yep. Okay, so let's get the timing right. You went to the office with your sister. Mm -hmm. She was the one they were interested in. Mm -hmm. How did it go? How did it switch to you? Was it just they took they took you both, or they, they took us both? In fact, okay. but uh, just me. It happened in that I went further, and uh, that's right. It. What did they say to you at that meeting? How did you feel about it? Oh, I was like they they called my mom, and they were like, "Okay, we're gonna ask her to come to Milano for the fashion weeks for Already? The castings. yeah, how quickly from from being oh, scouted to that it was kind of a two days because the scout Shit. he came, so he fell in love in the, in me and my sister, and the then, scout uh, fell in love with you from yeah, Moscow, yeah, from women yeah and uh and then he just called the mom and started to say and i was like i'm not gonna go nowhere i'm gonna stay here all I'm right afraid. so how, how originally <laughs> were there any different feelings from the initial approach did you think this is just a dodgy guy trying to pick you up did I you mean, I, I knew like the women i knew the agency already and, yeah because we were studying in the school before so we, we knew some agencies i knew it's famous it's one of the you best did. yeah how did you know that because like the teachers they explained it to us some oh. something and uh but i mean I, I trusted that yeah it's a kind of a official scout and everything gonna be good okay. but anyway it was like no. did I'm you feel go. excited and that this was the beginning of a whole mm -hmm. new life no, no. Did you feel great? And did you think, oh my God, I'm beautiful because the scouts seen mm, that in me? No, it was not like that. I was just like, okay. Matter of fact. I, um, I really didn't want to go. It's my mom who pushed me after. She's like, you have to, you have to go. So they your mom was me. ambitious for you. Yeah. Because she was from the beginning. Yeah. And she wanted you to keep winning. Yeah. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Good old mom. What's your mom's name? Larissa. Beautiful name. And your dad? Uh, Valentin. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> That's so romantic. Yeah. <laughs> Were they, was that, a, was it a happy, nice, happy home? Yeah, yeah. So you grew up pretty stable? Yeah. Solid? Yeah. Happy? You had your sister? Yeah. All was good? Really good family, yeah. So that was a good basis mm -hmm. to enter into the big wide world. Yeah. Okay, so then... <clears throat> Two days later, you were asked to go to Milan for Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. So this is... A Siberian with rhythmic gymnasts one day. Mm -hmm. Had you given up by then? Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're sitting in, what's your town's name? Where did you live? Irkutsk. I love that. <laughs> Say. Irkutsk. 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 Yeah, almost. <laughs> I went to Moscow and Leningrad. I prefer yeah, Leningrad. Yeah, of course, everybody go to those cities. Nobody <laughs> go far to there. Irkutsk. You know, it's nicer in Irkutsk. Is it nicer? Yeah. Is it beautiful? It's very beautiful and the Baikal is there. <laughs> of course, this Baikal <laughs> and the caviar. Yeah. So, all right. Was it a shock to you that this two day from, from literally you're going about your daily business with not a, think, not a thought in the world about modeling to, uh, what was it, Milan Fashion Week? Yeah, but I didn't go in the end. <laughs> you didn't go? No, because my uh, first kind of mother agency, they really didn't know how to work. So I left to another one and they sent me first time in Paris. Uh -huh. So I went to Paris with the feeling like, okay, I'm going to see Eiffel Tower. <laughs> That's it. I didn't like mm. plan to work or something. I just no. wanted to see, to, Paris. To, see, to see Paris, to see France. And that's it. And you were 15? Uh, 16 already. 
Did your mother have any worries that she'd be sending her 16-year-old out uh, to work? No, it was good because at the agency where I went to, it was really nice one. So they give like the people following you to everywhere. So I had to fly to Moscow to do my visa for France and they were mm -hmm. always like near me helping. So yeah, it was not really a big problem. Or and you like. felt ready? You were already mature I mean, yeah, enough? Yeah, I mean, ready for, for to travel, of yeah. course, because... But ready gym, psychologically, ready yeah. emotionally yeah. to take on the business. Yeah, because like with a gymnastic of also, I, I did a lot of traveling alone yes. like, with a trainer and a few girls. So for me, it was fine. Yeah, totally. Were but, you excited? Uh, yeah, to see Paris. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay, so what was the first job? What happened? Oh, God, showroom, I think. A showroom? A to, to be a showroom? Job. It was a showroom model. Yeah. Is that classified as a horrible job? It's the most horrible job ever. It's like uh, buyers from another country, they're coming to the designers after like the show. And so you are working like the handle. So you are you're walking and people, they just like, hey, oh, turn, yes, go. right. I mean, it's, it's boring. It's boring, and they don't respect the model at all. So mm. yeah, for me, it's still like the most horrible job, I think. So you started at the bottom. Yeah. What was the next best job? Where did you go from there? Uh, did you think this is this is it? This is my life, and it's going to be shit. Oh no, I was happy. You're happy, of course. Yeah, I was in Paris. It's all new. was good. Yeah, I ate uh, baguette, croissants. Living <laughs> that dream. Yeah, I was happy with it. Was course. Paris everything that you? wanted it to be uh, it was better better yeah it d over delivered mm -hmm. like it was the more Alpha beautiful tower it's so huge yeah. like still now i'm climbing it's it like, was bigger it's and better and yeah. more wonderful yeah did you just stay in a model apartment yeah how was that uh eight girls uh -huh. um very old apartment uh cold far. it was winter uh it was like uh september okay. and i was cold I'm always cold. Here. Are you cold because you're skinny? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm Siberian, I'm used to hot oh, shit, furs that's true. and everything. That's true. You're not, a, you're not used no. to it. Um, okay, so was this it now? Did you get into a routine of you were in Paris? You obviously loved Paris as a, as a city. Mm -hmm. What were the pros and cons of Paris? Was there anything that you didn't like as a city? I like everything. You liked everything about everything. it? Everything. They even cleaned the streets. So I was like, oh my God, they street cleaned cleaning. the street. Yeah. yeah, everything was perfect. Okay, so what was the next job? How many years are we talking about? Were you based there for a while? Tell me the story of uh, that. The so I've been in Paris, then my agency sent me to Tokyo. How was that? In Tokyo, it's like, it's better than Paris. <laughs> Tokyo was even better. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it blew so, your mind? Yeah, it's like the streets, they're so clean. There is not even a chin Hygiene now. is obviously very important. Yeah, <laughs> to <be> there is <laughs> a, <laughs> not even a cigarette. Like there is perfect. Everything is perfect. And Japanese, they're very nice people. So if you're kind of lost on the streets, you just gonna come like, no can crime. you help no me? No crime. Yeah, and uh, if a person you're asking for, they don't know where's the address, they're gonna find for you another person to Who explain does? how to how to get wow. in there. And um, yeah, Tokyo is... Uh, so it wasn't the miserable experience that it is for lots of models who have nervous mm. breakdowns because it's so alienating. Yeah. It was great for you. It's, it's great, yeah. Do you have a naturally positive outlook on life? No. <laughs> <laughs> because you come from your quid <laughs> And it's freaking cold and dark <laughs> yes. for 80% of the year. <laughs> Maybe I'm hyper of everything now, yeah. Out of You're so grateful. But I didn't like China. Okay, so hang on. But we're at Japan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had China already opened up yet when uh, you started? So I was Paris, Japan, Paris, Tokyo. How long in Tokyo? Uh, two months. How long in Paris? Three months. Okay. Then so I we're going went, five months in now. Uh -huh. Then I went to New York. I didn't like New York the first time. Why? Oh, it yeah. was so crazy for me. Everybody running, I was like, oh, me too, too crazy? I have to go somewhere. Yeah, too crazy. But now it's, now yeah, I left. I so that there. was a disappointment. Uh, yeah, it started <laughs> by New York. But because of the, the vibe. <laughs> yeah, because part. of the speed, because I'm yeah. thinking like I'm from Russia. It's, you're it's European. It's a small city. Yep. Yeah, and, uh, it was, yes, you're mm. used to a certain civilization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so then, so Japan went well. Yeah. Did you work all the time? Yeah, I even earned money. <laughs> you worked and you earned mm -hmm. money. Is that for you the ultimate goal? 
Is the money everything? Because that's the job at the end of the day. You're, you're working for a living. Um, what motivates you? In the beginning, it's more like uh, just to discover the job, like with the... To, learning. To, yeah, learning to work with the magazines, with the, for the shows. And uh, yeah, and then it become for money, I guess. At, at one How point, quickly does it, it become to that? It's long. It know, takes long a long time. time. Yeah. And does that coincide with a certain boredom? Because you've obviously, after the excitement, the initial excitement's mm -hmm. done, and you know everything that you have to know, yeah. then you have to do the job. And at that point, it's like, let's think of the money. Because you're doing yet another job, which has been the same as maybe a thousand other jobs. But even now, like, I'm working at 10 years. 10 and, years? Uh, yeah, even now, I'm like, sometimes I receive an option, like my one of the last job I had was for Blue Marine campaign for the perfume. I get cried when they confirm me. That's so, so good. And it's You're not a question of the money even. It's the question like, oh my God, they, the they, they still love me. And, You're uh, still loved. Yeah. Is that an important thing? How do you know when you're loved? Is it just about booking the job? If you go to a go see and you get the job, I loved you. Mm -hmm. If you don't get the job, do you feel that you're not loved? No, because um, in the beginning, yeah, it's like that. And many new faces, they think like it's something wrong with them. But the thing is that the clients, they're just looking for another type. Yes. That's it. So it's not personal. You, yeah, you just have to. I mean, you have to be in shape, of course, with a good hair, good skin, good nails. But... Uh, if you have everything this and you have a personality, so yeah, after um, just question of the type. So you, it didn't affect you in a negative way? You didn't get depressed and down about it? No, I was always happy, like, ah, oh, <laughs> going with the flow. <laughs> yeah. So when did you then get to the next stage? Did you do any shows? And at what point did you do Runway? I've started by uh, Maida and Rami. Mm -hmm. They took me for Ilsap for the couture show and I closed it. Wicked, what a great oh way God. to start. Was couture horrible. was the first? It was horrible. What was horrible about it? A huge dress. I've never had an experience before for the shows. And then my day she's like, Vika, you're gonna close the show. <laughs> and so I start, like a day confirmed me, like one week before the show, I couldn't sleep. I had a nightmare that I'm going, I'm falling. Mm. So you, uh, even after all of those rhythmic gymnast competitions, yeah. <laughs> you still had anxiety yes, performance. Yes. Did you did you have that nervousness before competition? I uh, well, I still have now. Did you feel nauseous? Yeah. S stage fright. Yeah. So it's not something that comes naturally. You have to over. It's something you have to overcome. Yeah. So you're not that confident. Are you uh, just nervous? You're a nervous Nelly. <laughs> Not that confident, but I don't know. I don't know how to how. It's to just nerves, that. right? You're yeah. sensitive to yeah. Before the like pressure. gymnastic, also like competition, just before you go in, you are alone and like everybody's watching and you. There is a judge and just the people, and then you are you're like that. You're before, performing. So, yeah. You have to mm -hmm. perform. Yeah, that's it's great though. It's exciting. The adrenaline goes. Uh, then it's good, like when it's possible. Done. Oh my god, <laughs> you did it. Mm -hmm. The relief. So it was like that for this show. So you were terrified the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Um, all went well. All went well. Yeah. You were great. Perfect. Everyone loved you. I think so, I hope. <laughs> Did you think you had made it? Did you think this is what fashion's about and... Oh, I was just in the shock that uh, it was so many cameras. Because um, when you're just watching the show and like on the YouTube, you don't see this. You don't see how many cameras there mm. is. And when you're just straight, there is a light. You don't see any people like on the side. You just see these cameras and the flash. You're like, oh my God. Yes, <laughs> it's a big deal. Mm. But Then you got to like it? Uh, I love it. Yeah, I love to do shows. You love to do yeah. shows. What is it about the show? What's the best part of the whole process? Is it the actual when you're walking down the runway and the music's going and you're doing it? Is it the excitement just before? Is no, it no, the relief no, yeah, afterwards? It, it's when you're on the catwalk. It's what, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is music important? Cause yeah, very important. Like Alex Wank always have like the, the best music. He does? Yeah. Shout out to Alex yeah, Wank. Yeah, always like so strong. So you just really? enjoy it. Yeah. Is it got a good groove, the music? Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. Is that important to you? Uh, very important. I, I gymnastics. Hate, like, it's fucking rhythmic gymnastics. Yeah, but like since I'm a kid, I'm like used yes. to listen to music, to feel it. Yes. We had to do all the like exercise by the music. music. Yeah. So yeah, it's important for me. I don't like this. 
and slowly things. Like, okay. You like a good groove? <laughs> yeah. You get the rhythm and you Yes, walk absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you not practice anything anymore? If I threw you a club, <laughs> could you catch it? <laughs> By the head. <laughs> no, I'm going to catch it, yeah. You'd header it back yeah. to me. <laughs> uh, if I'm going to be in life. <laughs> all of those skills, do they just naturally go? Mm. Do you think you could do it again? Um, yeah. You could? Yeah. Do you think you could be competitive again? No. No, okay. No, I'm too old. I'm like not okay. flexible anymore. So. Right. So how is modeling now 10 years later? So... <laughs> was it just plain sailing after Ellie Saab? So what was the next milestone? Um, Let's talk about that. What was the next Then I went to New York, uh, Maida again. She put an option for exclusive uh, for Kelvin Klein. For, Can we make a note uh, here to the people watching uh -huh. that you mentioned Maida twice? Uh -huh. Yeah, Maida, she, she helped me a lot. She, She's she, a casting she director. Yeah. And therefore, every model or everybody in any situation where they're trying to build a career mm -hmm. is dependent on other people. Yeah. It's a people industry. Casting director is like the first step. Yes. If you don't pass through them, you're not going to see the designer. You're going gonna, gonna to see like the stylist. So yeah. So they, at the important. beginning for a new face, is the most important most person. Most important, yeah. Of all. Other than just... Yeah, like a photographer who's powerful or whatever. I mean, be. like, uh, you can't see Tommy Hilfiger without uh, the casting director, I don't know who's mm. like uh, doing now, Tommy, but like you, you can't pass it. Okay. So it's only through them. Yes. Yeah, for yes. the new face, even not for the new face, they're still very important people. Do you have, did you manage to develop a strategy for cracking those situations? Is there a way to get cast in a show or a shoot? Is there an approach that works? Have you tried that? I'm sure you probably did try different things. For you, is it about personality? Is there anything you can say? Is there nothing you can do? Um, it's all about casting director, about their character. So Their character? Uh, yeah, like uh, some of them, they like just how you, you are looking. Mm -hmm. The other one would like the way you speak, the way you act and... Uh, one loves like the smiling girl, the other one, he's like, why are you smiling at me? Like, uh, are you okay? Mm. So it's, uh, you it's have human to, beings. You, you have to know, like in one casting director, you have to come in the, like in the top. Uh, if you come in the, with the sleeves, they're going to not really like you. So it's many things like right. yeah, after years, after the experience, you, yes. you know it. I've got the washer dryer going in spin upstairs. My <laughs> wife. <laughs> I don't know if this is coming through. <laughs> can anyone hear that? I'm just going to... There's nothing you can do about it because it's starting. Okay. But I, I'm just going to... Should I even talk to my wife? I can't do anything about it. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. Let's proceed. <laughs> Wash a dryer be damned. Okay, so... Um, it's human beings and therefore they are unpredictable and they're unique and they each have their own personalities, and it's up to you, as another human being, to respond in the moment, to try to intuit yeah, what's every, what Yeah, everything, you're right, like, everything is in the moment. If you come at the moment to see, I don't know, Carl Templer, and he's in the bad mood, I'm not sure he's gonna see you. But if you come in, in the good minute, in the good hour when he's like happy so he's gonna take you i think also it's this like when yes the and that's again it. that's fate those are all yeah. things that you can't control yeah of are course. there any <clears throat> things that you as a model though as a human being in that moment can control and do anything about mm -mm. you can just be happy I oh no be... even the happy doesn't work because you've got the guy who wants you to be miserable i mean and moody. yeah it just I don't know, like, you, you have neutral? to be Are yourself. You, you have to be yourself. And that's all you can be, ultimately. Yeah, after they like you or they don't. So it's, right. uh, it's a business. It's a lot. Yeah. So it's, I, I don't know. So at what point did you feel, I could do this? This is, this is great. This is working for me. I am loved. I'm appreciated. I can make money. Was there a moment that that happened? Was it Elisab? Was uh, it? No, it was not the Elisab. I didn't really get it still there it was like just one show so once it happens and uh, it started for me after one year and a half I think uh, I started to work with a Carl Templer he puts me to open and to close the Tommy Hilfiger show and then it just started okay so one casting director on a good day happy Carl casting you in Hilfiger big 
designer. He's a stylist. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. He was a yes, creative director. Creative director. It's the stylist mm -hmm. of the show mm -hmm. who had the, that kind of say yes. as casting. Mm -hmm. They did. Did they work with a casting director as well? Uh, yeah, at that moment it was Ashley Brickle. Okay. So uh, yeah, she cast me before. She showed me for the for the looks before the shows. It was mm -hmm. like a uh, hundred of girls just for the looks. And he was choosing the girls he gonna build like the the style, and he chose me. To close the show again. Mm -hmm. So you must have thought, I'm the show closer. Uh, it was. It was. Oh my god! It. Uh, I think it was the best feeling in my career. That to, was it. That was open, the peak. Yeah, that was open, the peak. Yeah, and to close the show, it was like yeah. Wow. Especially when you're kind of a new face and yes. uh, all these girls like Carly Claus, Carmen Pidauer, like Jesus, everybody's behind, behind you, you and you're like on the finale. Oh you're my like god. The okay, so how did that compare to winning a trophy in rhythmic gymnastics? Did oh. it beat it? No. It didn't beat no. it. No. It yeah, didn't beat it. No. <laughs> Fuck it, didn't beat it. No, because in the gymnastic, <laughs> everything is because of you. You're totally in control. Yeah. It's like, all down it, to it, you. It's really you win. Like You won. Yeah, you won. But because, you won. Uh, because you, you opened. Kai yeah, didn't. but just because I'm looking like for, for this collection. Oh, I see. That's so you, why. you, you're, you're, you, basically, you, <laughs> you value <laughs> talent yeah. over looks, is mm -hmm. what you're basically saying. Yeah. Okay. So, in your... In your career of, at uh, of rhythmic gymnastics, mm -hmm. what was the high point in that? Ooh. Was there a similar moment of uh, glory? Yeah, it's like when you when you're the first. Did you do the Olympics? No. Were you going to? No. You weren't good enough for the Olympics. No. <laughs> because in Russia there were oh, all Russia, of these the different levels. Is it's too it's great. It's too big. It's like um, they have like around like two three girls who is like now preparing already for the like tokyo olympic games but behind them it's always like minimal 20 girls i like also like the almost the same level so okay. yeah it's uh, it's not possible so they are all at a different level than you were at your best yeah yeah wow that's amazing mm -hmm. okay so <laughs> did you feel how did so all of these girls that you knew mm -hmm. were in the show <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, Arizona, Arizona is there, yeah. oh my god, Cowley. Obviously, were you a, a, a fan of models at this point? You knew enough uh, about the business to know who I mean, was who. I'm always watching the shows. For example, I have the casting for Versace and for the show Versace. I always watch the you previous do your research. show, yeah, like to see the <clears throat> how girls they're walking, which type of the girls, and uh, that's how it works, I think. Mm. So, yeah, I knew all the girls. Not all the girls, but, yeah, like the, the famous ones. Who's your favorite? Model. I'm going to ask you that in a minute. Me? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you love yourself. I love myself. Uh, Abby Lee. I like her. Abby Lee. Yeah. I like her a lot. She's cool. And she's so beautiful. She's just something else than... The she's like Yeah, she's just like from other world. And, and she made uh, movies. You know, yeah, she was yeah, in that. yeah. And the horror movie. She was in a horror movie? Yeah, uh, Nylon. She was, in, she was in Mad Max? Yeah. She, she was, was in another there. one after that? Uh -huh. Okay. So she's had a role as yeah. an actress. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about your love life. I have husband, I'm married. Woo. Tell me how that happened. Oh. How old were you? And had you had boyfriends before? You and your sister were... I didn't have a boyfriend before. I mean, I you had... You didn't? No, like... Who was your first boyfriend and how old? Uh, my, my husband. Your husband was your, num your first boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. And so how old were you and how did you meet? 18. And uh, we met in Paris. And uh, It was romantic? Uh, no, how did you meet? Tell me how you met because it can uh, be very quotidian. We, and we met in the Paris in a kind of a... Because he was working at the time in my agency. He was working at your agency. Yes, but he, I came at 16. He was a booker. A higher kind of a vice president. He was the so vice president of your of Yeah, your of agency. the agency in Paris. So I came at 16. Is that women in Paris? No. Different I'm not going to say the name. Okay. <laughs> so, Discretion. Uh, yeah. Discretion. And um, so I fell in love actually in him like uh, at 16. 
And he didn't really look at me, but after uh, two years, so I went like Tokyo, China, New York, we were contacting. And then uh, at 18, I came back to Paris and uh, it started. So he knew who you were? Yeah. Because you were with the agency? Mm -hmm. You knew who he was? Mm -hmm. But this is just in the room? Or had you had, you had, you had conversations? Yeah, of course we had. Okay. Was there immediate attraction? Mm. Did you think he was good looking? Yes. So you're immediately physically attracted yeah, to him? I think, yeah. And vice versa, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> Although for him, running an agency, you could imagine that you would be a bit immune yeah. to beauties. Mm -hmm. Because that's day in, day out. Yeah. What do you think... So, so how many how it happens? I like, give me the nuts and bolts. Give me the... Who asked who out first? Um... It's, it came so weird because we were chatting more like and by like by SMS. Is and that texting? Then, yeah, texting. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my Russian. Okay, no, no, it's me. It's me. I never knew what SMS was. What does it stand for? Please tell me. No, because... SMS is a texting. <laughs> yes, I know, but what does it stand for? It must stand for something. I don't know what it stands for. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, we were texting. Yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot. About work, <laughs> about everything, everything, and probably that's how we both kind of started like to feel something. Other. Yeah, and then I just came to Paris and it just started. How long did it take from the initial, well, from you joining the agency, I guess, and mm -hmm. thinking that's a handsome man, mm -hmm. to consummating that relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Two years. Yeah. So it was a slow build. You got to know each other. Mm -hmm. Friendship developed. Yeah. But now, we were far, so I was not in Paris, so... Where were you? In China, in Tokyo. Oh, fuck, you were, work, you were traveling the yeah. world being a model. Yeah. But you were based in Paris. No. Where did you live? Oh, everywhere. I mean, like, you know, New Face, they don't really have the place to right? be based. Yeah, so it's like we are... Every, they, they where do you think face... you spent most of your time? Where did you sleep most in, in that two-year period? I, ah, in that when you went oh. to bed at night, where were you in the world? Irkutsk. <laughs> oh, back home. Yeah, because I mean, I was at school also when I started to travel. But uh, I mean, like three months in Paris, two months Tokyo, one month China, two months New York. So all this, so I can't really yeah. say that I spent it somewhere like right. most of the time. So. Right. Okay, so how did your husband propose to you? How do you go from you like each other, you've fallen in love with each other to marriage and beyond? Uh, he proposed me once the first time. <coughs> the first time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hang on. He already had a go. How long had you been going out to eat together? Were you living together? Uh, eight years. Hang on. You lived together eight years before he proposed? Ah, no, no, no. Um, I had uh, three years, I think. You lived together in for the sin. Three, yeah, for the three years. And for then three he proposed. years. And then he proposed. Uh, I said yes. And then I lost a ring. So he had to propose oh, again. <laughs> yeah. Was that just clumsiness or, or absent-mindedness uh, on your part? The first one was in the church. I didn't really felt like he's proposing. He just no, like, how did you lose the ring? Ah, how did I? I have no idea. I was oh, yeah. working. I, uh, I put it together with my bracelet. Or maybe someone stole it. I don't know. I don't know where it Shit, is. Yeah. It went. So yeah, I tried to. It, it was in New York, actually, and I tried to. He proposed to find, in New York? No, he proposed in, in Paris, Paris, and okay. I lost it in New York, yeah. Okay. So, did you know it was the, mat, it was the one? Did uh, you know he yeah. Was, he, you were both ready. Mm hmm. And uh, do you plan on having children? Uh, it's a secret. <laughs> oh, but you, it's something that you're not uh, closed to. Because um, certain people go, I. No, we don't really have any intentions of having children. We're, we're, we're I don't know, like at some point I feel like, yeah, I'm going to soon want to have the kid and... Uh, but you don't now? No. You don't feel I need to have a baby now? For the moment, no. Okay, fine. So I don't know when, in a year, in a two years. In a, so. Is it different dating the boss, mm -hmm. going out with the boss... <laughs> Being married to the boss. <laughs> but he was not anymore the boss. So he wasn't was the boss. Going, yeah. He wasn't the boss boss. Uh, he left then the day he from did. the agency. Yeah. I see. So. Okay. So how important are agents? Tell me about agents, bookers, that relationship. Is it everything? Does it um, matter? 
It is meta because it's uh, it's you are with the person who knows the business also, like with so who trust. you can ch- share the like the casting, the job, and uh, it's not like just uh, I don't know uh, office, you know, like some some people like okay, no Wall Street, and if you're gonna say something about casting, they're just not gonna understand you, mm. and uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, I don't see myself as somebody like from uh, out of business. I don't know. Maybe I'm too much in modeling. You are a fashion person. Now. Yeah, I even have like my own mother agency. <laughs> you own an agency. Mm-hmm. You became a model agent. Mm-hmm. Vika, that's so clever. <laughs> are you a yeah. business orientated entrepreneur? Yeah, it was my dream like to... to when? Keep, to keep, How? Like, it was the open it with my husband uh, three years ago. Wicked. And, uh, What's it called? Eiffel models. As in Tour Eiffel? Yeah. <laughs> As in your Eiffel Tower <laughs> no, dream come true? It's Falili uh, by Leonard, but yeah, oh, it, yeah. it can be possible. Double <laughs> meaning, so clever, yeah. you're so clever. And I just wanted to give my experience to the girls and uh, it works. Shit, did that come out of, uh, out of the blue or had it... How did that happen? How did uh, that percolate? It was like the period when I didn't really have a lot of jobs. Uh-huh. I just was thinking and uh, just came like that. I was like, for fun, let's I'm create a uh, mother agency. And uh, it just happened and it still works. And it's, it's growing good. And uh, So this I'm is happy. based in Russia? Uh, in Paris. But we oh, work mostly like with, with Russian, the Russian, Ukrainian girls. So has the business changed since you started? So you've been a model for 10 years. Mm-hmm. It has to have changed. How did, does it change? And tell me what that char- characterized that the, for me. The first thing, what I would say, it's uh, social media. Yes. A lot. Like, it changed all the business completely. Overnight. Of, yeah. Like, if before, clients, they were choosing you mostly by uh, by your portfolio, by your personality. And uh, now, I think it's by followers. You know, there's like even these Insta girls, Insta models. So. What are Insta models? It's a kind of a girl, they have, I don't know, like one million of followers. And Is that they, the number? Uh, yeah. That's the magic number? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so you have a million followers and that gives you influence and leverage. Yeah, because like uh, I understand the clients like... Uh, they want people to see it, that it, shit. It's a commercial. Yeah. It's a commercial. You don't even have to, I don't know, buy the, like the, the posters now, right? Like you don't have to even pass by the TV. Everything is on Instagram now. Yes. So it, it ruled the, the modeling, I think. So this is like the, the biggest thing that changed. What makes a great model, mm-hmm. as you know? And then what makes a great agent, as you know? And what makes you particularly good? Why are you a great model? And why are you a good um, mother agent? I'm never complaining on the jobs. Uh-huh. Um... I wanted to say I'm always on time, but I'm sorry I came That's late fine. for you. <laughs> this happens. Um, uh, but you are normally on time. <laughs> normally, <you>? yeah. <laughs> Only um, 20 minutes left. <laughs> 25. Yeah. Was it? Okay, I I'm think glad 25. You, I'm, I'm glad sorry. you <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take an Uber, but it was uh, oh, don't worry. even longer than, uh, than a train. So um, the models, they have to be nice. Yes. They have to be polite. Yes. They have to work hard. Yes. They have to shut up sometimes. Yeah. Um, they have to know when to, to when to step back. Yes. Uh, they have to know how to speak to the clients, to the photographer, because like people, they of course they would prefer to work with the girl who who can uh, like uh, keep the conversation and yes. uh, the the person with who they would feel the like are able uh, to communicate yeah, with. Yeah. Um, to be in shape. Yeah. That's it. And to look good in a picture. Mm-hmm. Photogenic. Photogenic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite important. Yeah. yeah I think. Would you put photogenic as number one? I mean, ultimately, is it that you have to look like Carly Kloss to have Carly Kloss's career? Or... Personality. Carly Kloss has that physique, but she's Carly Kloss and she has all sorts of other things that go with she's it. She's a Carly Kloss because she has a great personality. This is like for sure. Yes. And she's beautiful, of course. So what about social media? Oh, so what makes a good agent now? Mm, good agent. <clears throat> Do you consider yourself an agent? No. Mm, you consider yet. yourself a business person? Yeah. 
Uh, the good agent, good agent. I had the like best agent. I'm not gonna say the name. Okay, whatever. Tell him, uh, isn't it? Tell. Uh, we need to know. Okay, Elena Surik. Now she's the booker for the. She's booking the girls for the Vogue, America. She was like the best booker ever. Now, what made her so good? Um, she never were rude with the girls. Like you were late for something, for casting for Victoria's Secret, like it's finished already, but she's like, okay, babe, calm down. Just stay there, you're late already. Uh, take your time, breathe and go, like whatever, you're late, it's She fine. was a nice woman. So nice, like, and uh, she could help with everything. I could call her like at three o'clock at night, like, and then wow. can you help me? And she was always on the phone, wow. always helping, yeah. This is important. So you have to be a, 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 a nurturing person yeah. to, be mm -hmm. a, to be an agent. Yeah. Because you're a mother yes. sort of mm -hmm. figure. And that's good. So you'll be that too. Did you ever, I, I'm trying, but did you ever lead your team? Me... Would you ever, were you a captain type? Are you a... a... Uh, I, uh, yeah, I can you say are. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But you know, girls, my, my girls models... They get fat sometimes. <laughs> Do you have to w crack the whip? Uh, it depends on the girl because with uh, some girls you have to be very nice because if you say something wrong, they're like take it so bad and they just can leave you. So ah. you have to know the character of every girl, like how you can speak, how you how you can't speak with them. So Do yeah, you think but sometimes they make me crazy, like hips one hundred centimeters. Is there a uh, a minimum age? that you should think that um, girls should be starting modeling? We take the girls from 14, but okay. I think it's a bit too young. Uh -huh. I think like, well, what are, like, I don't know, there is some girls at 23, they are not ready yet. There mm. is some girls at 14 who is like a dancer and everything yeah. and they're, they're feeling okay Mature. without yeah. the mom. So it depends on the, on the girls. I, I can't say like the perfect age. Do you cast your own girls? Mm -hmm. So. The buck stops with you. You're the boss. Yep. Who says yes or no? Mm -hmm. And what are you looking for? Oh, uh, what I'm looking for. I don't know. It's like, it's just the feeling. You you just like it. And you know yep. that if you like uh, you an agent, push. she's going to like this girl. Like next women DNA, they're going to find in love too. So Are there general trends in models? Are there certain looks that are good at certain times? Either... Yeah, I think like, for example, the high cheekbones, for example, like the eyes, how to say, in the ears, I don't know. Um, yeah, there is some like something like a model face, we call it in Russia, so... There is such a thing? Yeah. Okay. You have it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so how long has this business been going for? What, what are your plans for the future? Um, to be the best. How long are you going to model for? It's been 10 ah, years. Ah, for me? Oh. Oh, yes, there's that. So you want your agency to be, your mother agency, yeah. to be the best mother agency in the e world. Yes. Now, what makes a great mother agency? Is it ultimately finding the girls who make a difference in fashion? So basically, the job is to find the next Cara or the next... Yeah, to find an, an amazing girl and yeah. to help her. And also, like... Even if the girl, she would never do the big shows or big jobs, just to give her a chance to travel and to, to work and to earn mm. good money. So so that is your way, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. of giving back yeah. to the business that mm -hmm. has been so good for you. Yep. Okay, so what about your own career? How long are you going? Uh, has it been everything that you wanted it to be? Do you have any more ambitions to achieve at this point? Mm, of course I have. <laughs> what are they? Okay, what's the dream job that hasn't happened? A Victoria's so Secret. You want, sure. you want to work for Victoria's Secret? Yeah. Now, in the business, I hear it so often from models that it must be incredibly important and relevant because of any client, that's always the first to be mentioned. Yeah. What is it that this company has that the rest of the fashion industry uh, doesn't? They are very smart because they are the most popular and they present their angels like they're the, the they're angels. angels. Yeah, so very smart company. And uh, you just want to be one of them. You just yeah. want to walk and uh, show yourself and yeah. uh, enjoying. And get the attention and get the, all of the fame and mm -hmm. fortune that goes with it. Yeah. So... Um... <laughs> So. <laughs> That's good to, so it's got to happen. I hope. <laughs> what do you do about making that happen? Have you been to see them? Uh, once. Yep. 
How did that go? Tell me oh, about it. Oh, very that. good. They are very nice. You, ca- I, I went really late on the casting, so the casting was. You finished. were late again. Yeah, this is begin- twice now we're talking about. <laughs> I was working, so okay. I was working in Brooklyn. Okay. The time the to curse. get in the city it was so long. It took me like forever, and I uh-huh. came two hours late. But they were Jesus. waiting for me. Okay. Uh, they're super nice, and uh, you you just come like that, and they they just feel you uh, like mm, you make like, you feel comfortable. Yeah, and. Uh, they just ask a few questions, they're speaking to you, they ask to walk me, they ask to walk me twice. So when you walk once, you're like, okay, good. Like, can you walk again? You're like, oh, shit. Does that mean a good, is it a good thing or a bad it's thing? It's a good thing, yeah, because they want to see the, you again. again. But like when you had spent all your energy for the first one, you're not prepared for the second one. Oh, and, I see. Okay, okay. So yeah, it went really good for me. I had an option. Did you really? Mm-hmm. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't come no. up. And then I didn't do the castings. I don't know why. I always had a job like or in Paris or in Milano and like during the casting. I don't know. It's always happening. Uh, do you want to work for a particular magazine or a particular photographer? Uh, Merton Marcus. I would love to work. For Italian them. Vogue? Doesn't matter. Like Just even, Merton Marcus? Yeah. Just love the way they are doing the job. The, the pictures, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of my style. So. They're your favorites? Mm-hmm. You'd pick Martin Marcus over Steve Meisel? Sorry, Meisel. <laughs> you would? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I, I really love their job. Uh, I'm following them like on Instagram and every day I'm just looking, yes. looking, looking. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I think, kind of my dream to work with them. Do you know how you can get if not you, your girls to work with them. Is there a strategy? And don't you want to be a model agency? What's the difference between the mother agent and the main agency? So the mother agency, we are finding the girls and we place them in the agencies in New York, in Milano, in London, and Paris. The agencies, the real agencies, they are just giving the jobs. Mm. So we don't, uh, we don't give like the... No. Um, we just like preparing them and I we, see. And we, why, we manage them. Why do you, did you pick that? over the other surely all of the big stuff all of the rewards mm-hmm. all of the money comes with the agency the you're you're obviously just lovely and you want to give back <laughs> <laughs> because you can't make as much money or can you do you get a percentage of their earnings for the rest of their life you do no it, it's not bad money oh you do get a i percentage. mean yeah in the what percentage 10 percent. you get 10 percent of on the gross for, for however many years? Do, uh, is, it, is it a contract? I mean, yeah, like you sign with the girls a contract for three years. Then if all is okay, like it's automatically like uh, repeating for every year. So yeah, mm. the until the girl, she has the contract with us, we're going to receive like the, the money from uh-huh. them. Okay. Do you work with your husband? Mm-hmm. So it's a joint company? Yeah. It's a partnership? Mm-hmm. And how is that? Is that great is that does that add to the relationship does it make you more solid or does the 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 day-to-day grind of being in a business partnership it's uh, it's everything it's in everything. The, everything everything because it's stressful having a business with a partner but you know there is some moments like my girl she get the show for Miu Miu it was like the biggest celebration for me mm. it was like the first good show our girl did it okay wicked. like really the high one and um I don't know, it's, yeah, it's many things, like... It's the good and the bad, it's yeah. like life. Yeah, but it's the ups uh, and the downs. more happy. Of course, because they're happy, all of yeah. those achievements mm-hmm. that you share together. Yeah. So that's the, is that what you can see doing past modeling, when you've given up modeling? Mm-hmm. When that time comes, you will con- concentrate on being yeah. a mother mm-hmm. agent for, and for the foreseeable future. Yeah. It's something that satisfies mm-hmm. you to that degree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so good. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Mika, you really got it sus, this whole fashion thing. <laughs> Thank you. It's a real arc, the whole thing. So very few people get to do that. Yeah. So I'm very proud of you. Thanks. Um, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's probably a good... Oh, shit, look how dark it is now. Uh-huh. In there. I might have to boost the exposure of what's going on. <laughs> Sorry about the... The washing dryer. <laughs> now... Okay, we can't see... Do you want to have a look at the phone? Because we are broadcasting live to Instagram and I'm sure Vika's followers would like 
it's some question they are in Russian. Yeah, 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 of course. And they're just writing, show the boobs or something. Are they literally uh, saying, show your boobs? Yeah, can you imagine? So I can't even imagine. Is there a, a, an intelligible and intelligent question that they're asking? Uh, We're not going to show any body parts. They're just saying, like, uh, goodbye. Okay, um, so dark, shit. How many hi. stops? Hi. Oh, I'm pushing uh, three stops How under. are you? Hello. Um, здравствуйте. Ask a question. Let me turn up the exposure. <laughs> oh, yes, it's dark. It's dark? Well, it, w w I can boost it. Let Anything else? Um, Should we say goodbye? Well, they're just watching. They're just watching. Any yeah. question at all, this is your chance to talk and ask a question of, the, of this fantastic... Hey, guys! <laughs> I'm going to speak in Russian. Yeah. Ребята, теперь вы можете задать нам, мне, ему вопрос. Even if they want to ask me a question. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> Good. Uh, should I go there? Yeah. To check it? Oh, shit. Yeah, we've got to. We've got the... the What's happening? The back facing camera. What is the most difficult part in modeling? Mm, nice question. Good question. Who was that by? You have uh, to remember names. I don't know. That's okay. They know and you know. Yeah, I'm gonna save it some. Okay. Uh, what is the most difficult part in modeling? Oh, it's um, to shoot and uh, <clears throat> underwear. <laughs> mm -hmm. In Siberia, yeah. no, I mean in New York in winter time. It's uh, I hate this thing like to to shoot in the cold. Do you actually have to do that? Mm. It's you've done uh, it. Oh my god, so many times. Yeah, and just you know, I'm just thinking and. Uh, so the physical hardship of yeah. jobs mm -hmm. is the hardest bit. And the fashion week. And fashion week, just because of the amount of work that you have to do. Uh, it's so big stress because like you you've done a fitting, for example, like I don't know for Calvin Klein. You're waiting the confirmation and one hour before the call time they cancel you. So it's all this stress. Mm. And uh, I remember when I did it, it was like one of the, my best seasons. I did uh, like a lot of shows and in Paris, uh, Louis Vuitton, they call at four o'clock in the morning for mm. a fitting. I was like, no, I'm not going to go four there. Four o'clock in the morning. Whoa. Did you go? Of course I went. Did you get the job? Yeah. Well, they were. It was worth it. But I was crying. I was like, I want to sleep. Because <laughs> I just get back from core. Shit. Like at three o'clock, I took my shower. So core I is went exercise. To the bed. Yeah. Is that what you do? For what? It's core exercise. You said core. No, no, no. Chloe. The, Chloe. Yeah. The Chloe show. Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and yeah, this is the hardest fashion week. I hope that answered your question. What do you do to stay fit and um, trim and in? shape um doing uh pilates you do? yoga playing tennis um like trx something like that i don't know how it calls some like, yeah like classes all the time okay so, yeah every day no <laughs> wow um three times per week what do you have to eat? Anything particular? I'm fine with this. Anything. I, I can you could eat, eat anything. anything. Yeah. I'm skinny like You're an ectomorph. Na naturally. Like me. We can't put weight yeah. on. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's something to envy. <laughs> Although, skinny guys have had a hard rap too. Mm -hmm. so it's easier for girls. <laughs> anyway. Anyone, anything else? Or should we call that a day? That, that was amazing. 